I know you guys are going to think that I've lost my mind, but I've been looking at something for the last six hours, and I've tried to walk away from it, and come back to it, and not see it, but it's there, and it's undeniable. There is a massive, to my mind, what looks like an ancient marine reptile that has come through the snow in Antarctica. And I've narrowed it down doing some research to four candidates. Now, I am not a dinosaur marine reptile expert of any kind, but I think one of these four that I have uh, looked up online is a really, really good candidate. It's an area I haven't explored very much. I've explored near it, but not this area particularly. Now, this is the area up here that we found all the hidden cables, all the hidden corners. Um, we've been there before. Um, this was an area where we found a lot of these, uh, what looked like trees, almost. But out here, near the water, it's not very far, so it's not implausible. I found what looks like, to my mind, it could be some type of an ichthyosaur or this thing that they've talked about called Predator X or Liopleurodon possibly and there's this big whale now first thing I want to show you real quick is there's blood all over this region giant swaths of it here And look what's right next to it. I don't think I even have to describe the, the mouth, the eye, and the giant flipper, or fin, or whatever you want to call it here. And the body, it's clear as day. Now, it's in shadow, so I can't turn the... I've tried to turn the lights up on this and turn up the contrast, and this is about as good as it's going to get. And, of course, I'll get you guys the link, or the coordinates. If I misspeak in this video, please uh, bear with me. It's uh, almost 5 o'clock in the morning when I'm recording this, and I have been up for quite some time. Now, over here, I'll zoom in on this. And it's kind of a hard thing to do because it's right by, but there's more blood staining here. All throughout here. And I mean, and when you, you, you scroll by this thing, it's once you see it, you cannot unsee this. I mean, it is pretty, to my mind, undeniable that that is a very, very large aquatic reptile or dinosaur or something of that nature. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull up the ruler real quick just so you guys can see scale. It's about 600 feet long. We'll go to there. And we will zoom in. As you can see I have that line at 608 feet long. I'll zoom that back out. And get rid of that. Now, the odd thing about that particular length is this is a artist rendering of a Mosasaur that I brought up just as one of the things I was looking at. Looks really, really, really close, but everyone remembers Jurassic Park and the scene where there was the big giant thing that swam up and um, got airborne for a minute and I think grabbed a great white shark or it was a whale or something in front of the crowd. Well, oddly enough, this is the uh, animal they were going for. Now, in the movie, 
they had a full body length of that thing at 667.15 feet. Um, a real Mosasaur is only about 60 feet. But the thing I just showed was less than what they were showing in the movie. And when you look at the head, you look at the flippers, it looks really, really, really close. Now, there's also this thing. This is called a Basilosaurus. It was kind of a toothy whale. And this is a real good candidate, too, given there's just the two flippers, and then the body just becomes basically like a... basically a mermaid's tail. There's no... I guess there's a smaller down here flipper, but when you look back at this picture of this thing, the first thing I thought when I looked at it was it almost had the head of like a, a king salmon. But, of course, it's way too large. It was just, you know, a thought. It, it'd be the biggest salmon ever at 600 feet long, but that was the kind of the head shape I was going for. And it's just, uh, you know, we have seen so many things lately. This, there was a, a small wolf pup and a caribou that they just pulled out of the ice, I think, in Canada. I don't, maybe Europe somewhere, I'm not sure. But many, many thousands of years old, and the wolf pup still had the fur on it, it was like it had just died a week ago. And it was thousands of years old. Tens of thousands of years old. So we know that in dry, very, very cold environments, especially if this thing had been encased in solid ice, it could have easily remained looking like this for a very, very long time. So I don't think it's outside the size it would be real big. It would be one of the biggest finds ever. But, you know, I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility, given what we don't know. And, you know, honestly, with the more you look at this, I look at this now, if you look at this tail, do you see the scalloping in the tail right here? Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Like, here's the body, here's the end of it, and look at the, you can almost see the fluke. Right here, and literally, I just saw this as I was talking to you, and I've been looking at this for a long time. And the coloration, too, and it's completely different, even in the shadow. The coloration of this figure, whatever it is, is entirely different than the snow around it. It doesn't resemble anything like rock. It doesn't have the characteristics of rock. It doesn't have the characteristics of snow. So if there's something other than rock, ice, or snow down here, that would be story in and of itself, I guess. And once again, we'll go over, there's blood there. And there's blood there. It just might be instance that maybe, you know, some... I'd, and this is fairly... I'll zoom back out. This is fairly close to the sea. I don't know if this would be... As far, you know, where polar bears could have gotten to this. Because you can see off in the... De there's the sea. Right there. So it's not all that far away. And the, the real test for me is, if I think I'm seeing something, I'll pan out, I'll go do something else, and I'll come back and zoom in on it again. And look at it. And it's in this... The side of this hill here. And when you look at this thing, it's still freaking there. Let me center this over. Every time I zoom in at it, I see it exactly the same way every time. That this is some kind of a... You can almost, and I didn't want to bring this up, but might as well. If you zoom in real close here, you can almost even see teeth on the bottom jaw. It's almost imperceptible, but you can do it. This is, of course, the 2012 layer. I don't know. I haven't even tried to uncover this in another layer. I mean, it's that close. Now, I don't know what's going on down here 
or underneath. It's just too, uh, I didn't want to speculate too much about it because there's just not enough, enough information. But it could be evidence that something or somebody has been here before. I think if science had been here, we would have known about it. It just looks too, uh, the scene, when you put everything together, doesn't look, tell me this doesn't look like part of a tree. I mean, it's a completely different subject, but it just, uh, I don't even know how to describe this over here. And once again, when you go back to this and you look at it, and then you bring up something like this, I, I don't know how you don't see it. I think everybody does, though. And like I said, my candidates were the four that I think I'd spoke of earlier. Ichthyosaurus. This is Mosasaurus Hoffman eye, just for the size. This is just a rendering, I think, of the same, uh, but this is close because you have the two big flippers and the two smaller ones. This is another, uh, I brought this up because it's, uh, interactive. And you can move it around. Mosasaurus, and then... And Mosasaurus is a reptile, not a dinosaur. This is Predator X. Basilosaurus. And the last one, I hope I kept it up here, it was Liopleurodon. I think I got rid of it. But yeah, those are, uh, those are my candidates. Now I'm sure there's all sorts of folks out there who know a whole lot more about this than I do. But... It's uh, pretty undeniable that there's something out there on the ice. And hopefully somebody will see this and uh, get an expedition together and go uh, make the discovery of a lifetime. This goes to show you, if you keep looking around and you don't uh, take everybody's word that you know, everything's been discovered or they'd hide everything. This is something they might have just missed. It's uh, it's in shadow. It's uh, very, very difficult. If you were looking straight down, it'd be a very easy thing to miss. Once again, as you come in, clearly the mouth, the eye, the fin, the body, it's all there, so... Anyway, I'm probably just going to go sleep for about 10 hours. I'm sure there's going to be quite a bit of activity on this and discussion. But thank you guys so much for the support. I very much appreciate it. I will do my best in the future. Do not let the trolls get to me like I did yesterday. So take care. Thank you so much. Bye.